Now we're going to talk about quadrilaterals. Now quadrilaterals, if we look at the very definition of a quadrilateral, look at the first four letters of quad, of quadrilaterals, and that's quad. Quad means four, laterals means lines. So you're talking about uh, a two-dimensional object shape that has four lines. Okay, so you're, what you're seeing here is all different types of quadrilaterals. What is also important that is all the interior angles when added up in each one of these add up to 360 degrees, 360 degrees inside of a quadrilateral. That doesn't change, but there are some very important and special quadrilaterals that we're going to be talking about right now. First up is a parallelogram. A parallelogram means that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. What that means is if these were extended on forever, they would never touch, and the same with these. Okay. It also means that both pairs of opposite sides are equal. So these two sides are the same length, and these two sides are the same length. Okay. And just like I said before, all the angles inside would add up to 360. Okay, the rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So what that means is this line is parallel with this line, and this line is parallel with this line. But it also means that we have our four right angles. One, two, three, four. So that's what makes it a rectangle here. A square is a special rectangle. Um, again, it has the four right angles. It has the two pairs of parallel lines. But it also has all sides are congruent, are equal. That's where um, a square really sets itself apart as a special quadrilateral. It can also be sometimes called a rhombus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. A trapezoid is another special quadrilateral is that it only has one pair of parallel lines. You can notice that if we were to extend these two lines up, they would eventually meet at a tip where it would look like a triangle. As I mentioned a couple seconds ago, a square can also be called a rhombus. That's because a rhombus is a parallelogram with all the same sides. So that kind of defines a square other than the square has the 90 degree angles. So again, this side is parallel with this side, and this side is parallel with this side. All sides are equal. The only difference between the rhombus and the square is that a rhombus doesn't need the 90 degree angles. As you can clearly see, these angles are not right angles. Okay, so uh, a square is just a 90 degree rhombus. Using this kind of messy diagram that I have here, I'm going to hope to explain to you the relationship between the quadrilaterals and the special uh, different quadrilaterals that we looked at today. As you can see, the pink is our parallelogram. Inside the parallelogram, we have three other shapes. That means they're also parallelograms. So the, the rectangle here, the square here, and the rhombus are all parallelograms. Now remember, parallelograms have two pairs of parallel lines. And they're also the opposite sides are congruent, meaning the same size. Now you'll notice that the square overlaps both the rectangle and the rhombus. That's because a square is a rectangle and a rhombus. Remember, a rectangle is the parallelogram with 90 degree angles. A square is a parallelogram with 90 degree angles. Uh, a rhombus is a parallelogram with all congruent sides, meaning the same length. A square is that as well. If you look off to the right, you'll see the trapezoid because the trapezoid doesn't fit in the parallelogram family, so he's kind of out on his own. If you're still having a hard time, you can go into my YouTube page um, under the video section here, and you can find the quadrilateral video. You may have to scroll down pretty far for it, but eventually you have to go to show me more items, and you'll see it right there. 
quadrilateral video. You can click on that. It's um, It relates to everything we talked about today, but it's to the tune of... Uh, radioactive by Imagine Dragons, so maybe that could help you further remember the different special qualities of the quadrilaterals.